everyone, it's Jess Hearts, and today we are building a waterfall tiny house or a tiny house atop of a waterfall. Yeah, that would probably make more sense. But with this build, I just knew I needed to build something on top of a waterfall. I had seen that like waterfall object that came from the university pack, I believe. And I just knew I needed to build something with it eventually. So I decided to build a really nice house on top of it. And believe it or not, but I had to cut out around five hours of footage because I ended up building three other separate houses on top of that damn waterfall because I could not figure out what I wanted to go atop of it and it was just a struggle and I finally got there and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I ended up going with kind of a autumnal kind of theme for this build and I'm really liking those reds and warm tones like I know it's nowhere near like autumn where I am at the moment but I'm just really in that kind of I don't know I went into a really big spooky mood the other night and I'm like I'm just gonna listen and watch some horror crap I don't know just came all back and I think Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 3 probably didn't help I've been getting way back into it no spoilers please I haven't actually gotten to the end yet but I'm so excited to see what's in store. But yeah, I think that's probably why I went for that autumnal theme. But yeah. Also, how has everyone been going? I've been doing really well, actually. I'm a lot better than I was. And yeah, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm feeling jovial and like kind of optimistic for the future. And I'm really, really excited about YouTube because I think we're not far off now from being able to monetize this stuff. And I know probably people don't like talking about that, but... As you guys know, I probably overshare and I'm very open and like honest about everything <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, that's big news. So go us, we're doing quite well. And I think we also reached 1,600 subscribers, which is so crazy. I'm so happy and just the big family is getting even bigger and it's just making me so excited for the future. So yeah. But how has everyone's week been? I think it's, what day is it even today? I think it's like Wednesday. Yeah, apparently there's meant to be a heat wave, which I just found out about. Not very keen. I totally wanted to go to the beach on Friday, but it turns out I have so much stuff going on that day. But the crappy thing about it is that I have to walk through the city all day and I think it's meant to be around 36 degrees and I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it is really bloody hot where I am. I know everyone's like, oh, you're from Australia. It must be so warm. Like I'm from Tasmania, the little island beneath it. So we're pretty cold most of the time. So when it gets hot, it gets very, very hot. And I think there's like a problem in our ozone layer or over the ozone. I don't know how to explain it, but I just know that it gets very, very warm where we are. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go to the beach. And I think I've been talking about wanting to go to the beach for years now. But other than that, I've had a pretty productive week. I've just been cleaning the house and doing all sorts of kind of productive things like that. I cleaned my room and organized my clothes. I put some clothing in a bag that I'd like to donate. And it just feels nice to kind of like cut back on clothes because I have a problem with buying clothing. What's it called? Like retail therapy kind of thing. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of that. A bit too much of that, I might add. <laughs> but yeah, at the end of this week, I shall be going to my friend's gig or I guess mini concert kind of thing up in Hobart. And I found out yesterday from my sister that her partner or husband is also going. So I'm super excited. Um, my brother-in-law, like I just call him my brother. He is my brother. He's been my brother-in-law since I was a wee tot. So yeah, he's my brother. But we have been wanting to go to a metal gig since I was 10. Like I have been wanting to go to a metal gig with him for so long now. And by chance, we just happen to be going to the same one. So finally it's gonna happen so I'm super excited about that and I'm really excited to see my mates play because I hadn't seen them play in years so yeah I don't know has anyone ever gone to see like a gig or a concert I love music so much and I just I think I prefer seeing it live just the whole vibe of it all it feels really really cool plus also the chance to catch up with friends and family is always nice oh yeah but earlier this week right I was walking home from my mum's work and she's only like oh, like 40 meters or 20 meters up the road from me so it's not that far of a track but when I was walking back I saw that there was a backpacker outside my fence and if you don't know what a backpacker is it's just somebody that travels the world with a backpack pretty much and like they work um wherever they can usually it has to do with like picking fruit or vegetables kind of thing and we live in like a apple valley pretty much so there's a lot of them 
uh, that come around this time of year and I knew it was one because I've never seen him in my 10 years of living here. As you guys know, my beautiful dogs Milo and Polly, they are quite loquacious. They're very talkative dogs and they bark. They're very good guard dogs. They wouldn't be good at fending off a person but they'd be good to alarm you of said person. But anyway, they were barking at him and instead of just like walking along and ignoring them, he like full on leant over the fence and started barking at them as I was walking up and I was just like, mm, don't you dare talk back to my dogs. And I was just like, hey, uh, sorry about my dogs, like giving him that whole like passive aggressive kind of thing and his face just dropped. And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, how insecure of a person would you have to be to sit there and bark at two tiny dogs when they're barking at you? Like, why dude? Like, what are you doing? Like, just leave them alone. <laughs> they're doing their job, they're dogs, they bark, you know? they're protecting the property and I don't know it just made me really angry unnecessarily because they're my babies and you know I like to protect them obviously if somebody comes into my house or like it's the mailman or something of the sort and they start barking and everything I like grab them and make sure they don't harass him because he's only doing his job whereas this person was like insecure enough to be like I'm gonna bark at these like less than a foot tall dogs I don't know I got randomly salty about it anyway <laughs> But other than that, I haven't really been doing much this week other than building. I wanted to ask what you guys would like next uh, video wise. I did a big house build, a kind of big, it's like a rounded cabin with some really cool bedrooms. I guess you guys will have to see what it is and like a rounded pool. And I've also been working on a video game build behind the scenes and I've been working on it for months. I kind of forgot I was even doing it and I just finished it last night. And I was wondering, would you guys like to see that first or would you like to see the log cabin first? Either way, they will be coming um, along in, in the next few weeks. But I would like to know what you guys would like to see first. And I'm going to try my darndest to get back to two, week, uh, two videos a week because I need more things to do and I just really want to get back into it and I feel like... Like, since the family's getting a little bit bigger, I might need to accommodate, I guess. I don't know. I was thinking about it the other day and I was thinking about how poor the quality a lot of my older videos are and I'm just like, I should probably make some better stuff if that makes sense. I don't know. I could just be talking out of my ass, but you know how it be. Also, I am not completely sure if this main bedroom up the top is even safe to like sleep in. Like, I'm not sure if it's like it hides you from the elements. It shouldn't matter if you don't have seasons, but if you do, maybe you will just have to sacrifice and put like a, a ceiling up there with some floor tiles. I'm not even sure, guys. I think it's just because I haven't blocked off the room properly. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, but I hope it works. Anyway, <laughs> I was also talking to my friend about this build and how much the upkeep would be and like all the insurance you'd have to have because this house is probably like a huge health and safety risk being as though it's like constantly getting bombarded with water. Like those stilts would be would have to be really dang strong and probably not made out of wood. So yeah, I was thinking about, you know when you like think too hard about like whether or not a house in The Sims makes complete sense compared to a house IRL and you know, it's not that deep. We shouldn't think that deep about it. But either way, how cool would it be to live above a waterfall like that? Mind you, it'd probably be really loud now that I think about it, but you know, it is The Sims like I just said. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. It shall be up on the gallery under Jess Hearts. And yeah, I gotta get going. So remember to subscribe, like and comment, tick that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.